Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to BMTV. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Yep. Ah, I can't get it to do it. Um, anyway, it's not really Christmas, is it? It's, it's not even not even had Halloween yet. I'm going to take this off because my head's getting hot. Went a bit bling this year instead of the traditional red. Um, but yes, if you do sell anything for Christmas to your customers, then now is when you want to start thinking about it. So we're going to talk a little bit about some Christmassy products in just a second. But before we start that, I want to say a big thank you, as always, to Mark Drury from Pioneer and Chris Horn from Amscan for coming down and helping us for over the last few weeks since we last did a Behind the Table show. So thank you, guys. Always a pleasure to work with both of you. Now, you might have noticed since the last Behind the Table show, something is missing from my face. Yes, thank you to everybody that took part in that very silly vote on Facebook. Should I shave or should I not? I was a little bit offended, if I'm honest, because 76% of you said I was better without the beard. I was getting quite, quite attached to it. But anyway, I did as bid and shaved it off. No, honestly, I prefer it like this anyway. And thank you to everybody that said I looked older with a beard. That was that was really nice. Thanks for that. Um, but I, I'm sure I did. It was a grey beard. Of course I looked older. But yeah, just a little bit of fun. Right, there's a couple of things I need to talk to you about before we get to the products and fun bits. And these are the, the more serious bits. Now, the first thing, we've got something in between Halloween and Christmas, and that is, of course, Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And those of you that have been watching BMTV for a number of years know that I talk about it every year at about this time and warn you about it. It's the 29th of November and the 2nd of December this year. And if you're new to the industry, the reason we're warning everybody about it is because all the couriers and Royal Mail get so, so busy, things get delayed. And it's as simple as that. So a few years ago, they weren't expecting it. DPD weren't expecting it, Royal Mail, and things were delayed sometimes for up to two weeks. The year after, they got better, considerably better. And then last year, they were it was very good, to be honest. There were, there were not a lot of issues, touch wood, um, last year. So hopefully it'll be the same this year. However, we do always say just expect those delays. A couple of years ago, DPD did say, Greg, in one depot, there are 9,000 parcels. We can't find a single parcel in that. That was backlog of 9,000 parcels. So on top of what they would usually have. So expect delays. So if you need something, if you normally order on a Thursday for delivery Friday, if you order on Thursday for delivery Black Friday, there's a chance it would get there. But I would order on the Monday or Tuesday to make sure you get it. And for the weekend after Black Friday and Cyber Monday, or the week, sorry, after Black Friday and Cyber Monday, you really want to be ordering that previous week because that is when everybody will be ramping up. DPD, Parcel Force, Royal Mail, every courier, that is when it's because it's, it's everybody, all the couriers are, are going to feel this. So just please be aware of it and order as far in advance as you can. Sometimes what we do, if something gets misrouted from supposed to go to Crawley, ends up in Aberdeen, we would send it out again to Crawley and then we would get the, the Aberdeen parcel uh, back to us. We wouldn't be able to offer that service because it would just join any backlog that there that there is. So please, please, please just be aware and order as far in advance as possible. Now, the other thing that we need to talk about that's quite serious is Brexit. Yes, that is due to happen on the 31st of October. Happy Halloween, everybody. Enthusiasm in my voice. Yes, Brexit. Nobody knows what's going to happen. If we leave, if the UK leaves the EU without a deal, then that's when the trade walls go up and that's when things become a little bit more awkward. So if for our European customers out there, if you are ordering from us after Brexit and we leave without a deal, then you will want to allow longer time for your orders to get to you. And unfortunately, there would be some charges at your end from the customs people. So um, because there would be import taxes and the same for us. So anything coming from our European suppliers, we would have to be paying taxes for those coming in, which does mean, unfortunately, some of our, our prices would go up if we leave the EU without a deal. Hopefully they'll sort it all out. We'll leave with a lovely deal and we can all trade as we've always traded uh, up until now. So, but if you are European, because one of our European customers, thank you very much to start with, um, but you might want to think about ordering in advance of that happening and maybe ordering a little bit more if you want to make the most of of not having to pay taxes at your end. We will still be shipping to Europe. Um, we've got all our systems in place to do that. So we are still going to be doing that. Anyway, 
two serious things out of the way. Let's talk about some products. I'm going to start over here because it's Christmas, everybody. Nearly. Christmas products from Grabo. Christmas balloons. Penguin. Mr. Elf there. I love, I love. Is he a Scottish elf with the, the, the checks on there? The tartan? It's not really tartan, but checks on there. We've also got the Father Christmas and the reindeer as well from Grabo. We love Grabo balloons. They are such good quality. Um, they just make a really great balloon. We love Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan. Um, now, happy Hanukkah from Anagram. Last year, we got it wrong with Hanukkah. Um, basically, we got the product in and it went out and that was it. We'd run out and there were no more available. So we've ordered more this year. The balloons, we've got the plates, we've got the cups, we've got the matching napkins, we've got other napkins as well. So it is from the 22nd of December at sunset until nightfall on the 30th of December. Yes. So if you do celebrate Hanukkah or you sell to your customers that celebrate Hanukkah, then you might want to be getting that stuff in sooner rather than later. Um, where are we still doing balloons? These are from Bell Bell and they are fluffy little clouds. Nothing at all to do with Christmas, but I just thought they were funky. This is a retail pack from Bell Bell. Now we've sold Bell Bell balloons for years. We use them for all our balloon printing. Um, decorators, generally, some decorators love them, some decorators don't. The necks aren't as long as Qualitex, they're not as stretchy, and you, your fingers do hurt a little bit more when you use, if you're doing a lot of Bell Bell. However, these designs are great. We've got other new designs coming in. There's this one as well, tropical theme. So re this is what the retail pack looks like. Tropical theme, and obviously tropical themes are, are proving very popular, but there are other designs on the way, and we have some others as well. I just couldn't fit them on the table. Now, Crystal Clears. Chris Horn, obviously been talking about these from Amscan for a long time, well, a year now. Um, these are the two new colors, Crystal Clears, purple and green, which I love the colors um, because I love the names of the colors, just purple and green, that's what they are. And the big thing, or little things to get excited about, these are the new Crystal Clears Petites. And these, as you can see, are smaller Crystal Clear balloons, uh, Crystal Clears balloons. They Chris came down and gave us a couple of samples. These aren't available just yet, but hopefully they're going to be available in the next couple of weeks, the same as those products. They inflate to 10 to 12 inches, is what we think, is what Chris has tried. I, being a chicken, probably didn't even inflate these to 10 inches, so I apologize. But I, I was surprised they float with helium. We have tested them. They float with helium. They look good for 24 hours. 48 hours, they're still floating, but they're looking a little bit sorry for themselves, so starting to get a bit saggy. But they do still float, and obviously with the organic side of things, if you're air inflating them, then they're absolutely um, fantastic. They are exactly the same as the clears. They've got the valve. You can cut the valve out if you want to put things inside it. Just remember, if you are putting things inside these smaller balloons, the floating ability is going to be reduced massively. But if you're putting it in an organic design and air filling them, that would be absolutely fine. So yeah, there's more colors than that. All You can have a look at all of them at balloonmarket.co.uk. As I say, they're not available just yet, but if you click on the email me when available button, you will get an email as soon as they are in the building. Right, over here we have funky little boxes. Yes, these are Christmas boxes. It's like a, it's a box in a box in a box. And people are using these for um, the, the budgeting their, their gifts. So you might put a larger gift in the bottom box. The next gift, you've got a slightly smaller one. And the top gift, you might have a gift certificate or gift card, something like that. So you've got the penguin one, you've got the um, Santa Claus one, you've got the reindeer, and you have the elf there as well. There was a snowman one, but unfortunately he's sold out. Obviously, if you've been watching um, BMTV regularly, you'd know that we're, we're increasing our range of floristry supplies, and these things are just really popular, particularly for Christmas. So you can see the, the blingy, sparkly, glittery bits and pieces there. Perfect for just adding to your designs at Christmas, and the, the bit with the berries, you've got the poinsettia. And you've, you've just got, you can, it amazed me when I was doing a course with Chris Horn, he was doing the organics and it looked fantastic, the thing he was making. But then when he added the flowers and the greenery, it just changed it just in a few seconds. It went from looking really impressive to looking really impressive. And I think that's, that's the power of combining flowers with balloons. There is also, I've got to show you that, oh, there's this. 
this is very autumnal and it is uh, an auto autumnal coloured garland so and it's well it's that long well, how long is that six feet something like that but also not Christmassy at all look at that it's a big leaf I don't even know what kind of leaf it is and it doesn't say it's a big leaf tropical leaf and look it goes perfectly with that so this is plastic as a plastic stem so if you've got decent wire cutters probably struggle with scissors but decent wire cutters and you would be able to get through there but it is just plastic there's no wire in it it's just plastic but uh, they are quite tough to to cut down so yes we have those there now the elves remember the elves here's, here's the little elf elves behaving badly um, so we've got the, the boy and the girl and very popular for stuffed balloons. So that's what people are using them for. So they've got a, a super stuffer, putting the balloon in there. Uh, sorry, not the balloons. The, what's that? It's an elf. Putting the elf in there. And, but what you can do these days is all these other accessories. So you've got the elf in pyjamas. You could put the elf in a, a sleeping bag if you wanted to. Or you can just buy these. So put the elf inside the balloon. Give that to whoever. And then you can have the accessories to put them around and take pictures in, in all these different places. Sweaters. I've only put one sweater on there, but there's five or six different designs. Little footprint stencils. So you can spray white, snowy footprints all over the place. But my favourite thing, my favourite, has got to be this elf surveillance camera. This is a real elf surveillance camera. So you install this and the elves are watching you at all times. So if you are, you can tell because the little red light comes on when, when they're watching you. If you're naughty, guess what the elves do? They tell Santa. So I love this. I think it's great. A really good product. Um, what else now? Oh, bows. Bows seem to be becoming quite popular. So if you want to give somebody a present and you want to make a big statement, then you give them big bow. If you want to give them a really big present, and it would have to be a really big present, a really, really big bow. But if you want to give them a really, really, really big present and buy them a house, you can put a bow on the front door. Okay, probably not for buying somebody a house, but it's for decorating your, your door at Christmas. I'm seeing more and more of these. Sparkly bit in the middle. We've got them in lots of different colors. Um, yeah, you can just go and have a look uh, on the website. And then we've got these bows pull bows we've used these before on bmtv and they're just basically a very fast way of creating a bow you can see i've just got the shiny red ones here which i think would be perfect for your stuffed uh, balloon gifts and you can just put that on top now over here we have something a little bit different let me put these like that this is a, uh, a hamper base a hamper box if you like got them in red and we have them in the naked cardboard. And the great thing about this, if you combine it with this product, this, you've got some shredded paper and card, you've got a cello wrap, you've got a little tie to tie the top of it, and you've got a, a pole bow like that. You basically put the cello, all the shredded stuff in there, put your products in there that you want to create the hamper. It could be sweets, could be candles, could be whatever you like put the cellophane around it, tie that with the tie and then put the bow on and all of a sudden you've got a premium product because you have just taken these individual products, combined them, done the work for somebody and you're giving that to somebody that is, is more, they mean more to you than somebody you just give a single candle to, if you know what I mean. So it, it just says a lot, but that really finishes it off, I think. So you put it, everything into a hamper, just makes it more sophisticated and uh, more of a gift really so we've got that in stock as well now some of the things that we've been using airfill designs are getting more and more popular and as i say we've had chris horn in and we've had mark drury in both have used forms of airfill design that we've not really seen before now chris first used he was using copper tubing so he came in and showed us the new copper color from sempertex and he created a design using this. This is eight millimeter copper tubing. And Chris has told me that basically, if you go around twice, if it starts there, that is a meter, that is uh, another meter roughly. So 10 meters in length, so you're gonna get five bases, if you like. So this is available to buy on the website now and on a show coming up very soon with Chris, you might see him using that again. And Mark, of course, came in and showed us his Spaceman design. 
and he was using this. Now this is aluminium wire, effectively, it's not a tube, um, but it's, it's very malleable. You can really move it, really mess with it, but it'll stay in position. So we got some of that in. So we started with the two millimeter stuff and we tried it with an air filled balloon and it was just too heavy. However, we decided to stock this for a couple of reasons. The first is I've seen this being used with helium balloons. So instead of just having a, a ribbon coming down, you can have a spiral, this sort of stuff going up. And yeah, it just, just made me think, actually it's probably worth, worth having. You can also use it, and I think what it's designed for, is crafting. So you can make words out of it. It's so malleable, so soft. You can just do really tight curls. And so you can use it for a lot. Um, that's the two millimeter stuff. And then we've got the four millimeter stuff, uh, various colors, I've only got the silver one here. And that is a two meter pack. So we've got these in two meters. We also have the four millimeter wire in 10 meter lengths. So obviously better value buying 10 meters than it is buying five, two meters. And um, that's, we've only got that in silver and gold, but if you did want it in other colors, we could stock that, no problem at all. And that would, they, those four millimeter ones, they would hold um, an air filled design, no problem at all. Probably 18 inch and a shape, possibly depending on the size of the shape. This is the five millimeter stuff. We've got this in lots of colors. We've only got this in 10 meters, but this is the stuff that the Mark was using and that will support most shapes um, from an air fill point of view. So all that is available to buy right now from the copper pipe to that wire uh, at balloonmarket.co.uk. Now the last thing, things I want to talk about are these. Those of you that personalize your products probably know what these are. Silhouette Cameos. So they are vinyl cutters, but not just vinyl cutters, they're cutting machines. You can cut card with them, vinyl, stickers, all, all sorts of different things. And those of you in the crafting industry would probably know a lot more about it than I do. However, the, the four is brand new. So the Silhouette Cameo 3 has been around, we've been selling it for a couple of years. And we've put this on sale now. So we'll take a 10% off that and you get a free dust cover with that as well. But the four is here now. So we're, we're stocking that also. And we've sold quite a few of these already. Do you need the four? Well, if you've got the three, it depends what you're using it for. If you want to upgrade, um, if you're buying for the first time, then do you need the four? You might as well. Or do you need to? I think a lot of people these days think, okay, it's the latest, so I've got to get it. Do you need to get it? I mean, the, the obvious example is phones. The new iPhone 11 is out. People would be buying that because it's the newest iPhone 11, when in fact they might only have used 50% of the capacity of their iPhone 8, for instance. And that's fine if you want to do that, but do you need to? I don't know. So, Silhouette Cameo, you can decide. We've got a comparison here, side by side. So the Cameo 3, the downward force, that's 500 grams, that's pressing down 500 grams. That's quite a lot. Um, but the Cameo 4, five kilograms, 5,000 grams, 10 times more force. If all you're doing is cutting vinyl to put on your balloons, you don't need five kilograms. 500 grams is more than enough. Five kilograms, probably really thick card or something like that. Bluetooth, yes, the Cameo 3 has it. Cameo 4, you can have it further away than the Cameo 3, but in all likelihood, you're gonna have it pretty close to your computer anyway. A rotary blade, no. Yes. Cutting speed. The Cameo 4 is three times faster than the Cameo 3. So if you've got a shop and you've got customers waiting and watching, then maybe the Cameo 4 is the way to go. But if you get all your orders in advance and you can you know, cut it whenever you need it, then the Cameo 3 would be more than enough. And the other thing, there are other things, we'll put this on the, on the website on both products, but the, um, the roller, there's a roll feeder in the four, not in the three. So any of you that are old enough to remember a fax machine, you've got a roll of paper and it just scrolls through, then that's what you've got there. However, that's fine if you're just using one color all the time and you put it on there and you just use it till it's gone. But what if you're changing colors? Blue, pink, silver, gold, black, white. Then do you really want to be changing it all the time? Probably not. Anyway, just a, 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 I thought I'd make that point. Both are available. This one, the offer that we've got now means you'd be saving more than 50 pounds over this one. But think about what you need. As I say, we're gonna put that comparison on the products on the website. Right, that is it from me this week. Thank you. Oh no, wait, second question of the week. 
My question of the week for you is, what do you think the Christmas trend is going to be this year? Leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. That is it from me now. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. See you next week. Bye.